Dr. Nicole Friels here again today. We have a lovely ingrown toenail. I asked her if we could film it because it's actually one of the better ones. It's so exciting for you guys. So it's got a pyogenic granuloma, which is, I'll use this as a pointer, um, extra growth of skin because the ingrown has been in there so long. And so the body is trying to really protect it. Um, and so it starts producing this uh, granular tissue. Um, how long did you say it had been here? Um, since November. Since November, okay. Well, what we're gonna do is go ahead and numb it up like we talked about. This is the hard part. You'll feel a little cold spray than a bee sting. Okay, please ask me any questions you've got. I'm happy to, uh, to answer them for you. Okay, here we go. Cold spray. Quick little stick. You okay? Yeah. Good. If we need to stop, just let me know. And I'll definitely test it before we um, start removing it, uh, just to make sure you don't feel anything. I have plenty of anesthetic. We can always put a little more in. So have you tried digging this out yourself? No, I didn't. You didn't? No. How have you let it go this long? I mean, I can't believe, I'm impressed. Because at first, at first I was, and then I was like, no, let me leave it alone because I'm not trying to make it worse to get infected. Good, you did the right thing. Now with this one, uh, my other foot, mm -hmm. it was having a, like pus was coming out of that one Ooh. on the side. So I was squeezing that one with that one. How long ago was that? Because it looked so much better. Um, like a week ago. Really? Yes. Doing good. This is the hard one down here. This, I know. The skin is tougher and it's always these nerves on the bottom that are worse. I want to make sure I... We get that nice and numb though. So what I'm gonna do is get that nail out. We're gonna clean all that up. And so stay tuned. Once we get her set up, then we will uh, get all this taken care of. Be back. Okay. Hey everybody, we are back. Let's go ahead and get um, to tackle this ingrown toenail. So we're gonna put a little tourniquet on. And then let's make sure it's nice and numb. I'm gonna hide it from you so you don't if you want to look, you're welcome to. Any issues there? Any pain? No. No? Good. All right. So first, I'm going to remove the ingrown toenail. And then I'll get a hold of the granuloma. we got some debris hanging out in there, don't we? Okay. So straight back. We don't want to create too much uh, disruption. And I also don't want to cut that nail too narrow because we want you to have a pretty toenail. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Do you want to see what I pull out once I? Yes. Okay. There we go. That was it. Mm. That wasn't as deep as I thought it was. Really? Yeah. You thought it was going to be bigger than that? Yes. Oh, wow. I got it, Linda. Okay, so all of it's out. Now what I want to do is clean up this area. We don't have are you FaceTiming? Yes. <laughs> okay. I turned the camera, she said, oh. So this is the granuloma. Mm -hmm. That's all off again. This is just tissue. Mm -hmm. And you can see here how it really was starting to um, almost like scab on top. Mm -hmm. So you were getting a lot of additional growth of tissue in that area. Already looking better. So now what I'm gonna do, get that little piece right there. So if you get, so this ingrown has been here since October. Yes. When they stay in for a very long period of time, they um, will cause uh, excessive tissue like that, that granuloma. That's why you see that guy pop up. Yeah, because I kept pulling that off and we kept coming. Go ahead and put the, um, the chemical on mm -hmm. so it doesn't come back. Really important, if you are a student or resident watching, you want to rotate towards the nail plate. Because if I go the opposite way, this is gonna cause the chemical to get underneath the nail plate and it will um, cause the nail to come off. You'll also cause um, a dark uh, color in the nail. It'll just cause it almost, because I mean, you're killing the root of the nail all the way back here. So if you get it in an area you don't want it, that nail's not gonna grow in that area. So we want to make sure we keep them nice and pretty. 
almost there. Now, do you have any questions about how to take care of this once you get home? Um, so I'm not getting milky, so orgio, I mean, not orgio, the Amer Neosporin, sure, put that on there and then cover it um, with a Band-Aid. What about the right side? Um, you don't need to do anything to the right side. Okay. Just okay. the peroxide. Oh, peroxide, no yeah. peroxide. peroxide. Peroxide will actually kill the good cells that are trying to heal the area. They kill the good and the bad. And a lot of people use peroxide. So it, on our instructions, we always say, do not use that. So now I'm gonna silver nitrate those corners. One recommendation I would have for you is to definitely trim your nails. Mm -hmm. um, they're really quite long. And so what's happening is this is pressing up against the shoe and it uh, can cause you to have an ingrown toenail. So definitely get those back. They're a little shorter for me. What I recommend is um, about a millimeter of the white stuff on the tip. And if you need any help in uh, learning how to trim your toenails, we have another video specifically on properly trimming toenails on our channel, so. Because sometimes okay. saying don't trim straight across. I did not hit you say. I know, it's all over the place. What I recommend is naturally following the curvature of the nail mm -hmm. um, itself. Okay, get this oh, on here. So I know, mm -hmm. it looks good. So, Get you wrapped up. Three weeks, you think it will be, well, how long do you think it's going to last? It'll take about two to three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it look, should look, I mean, great next time I see it. And we'll go ahead and plan on doing that one yeah, uh, at that time, okay? Yeah, mm. You need to get some scissors on this one. Maybe that I need to start lifting weights or something. <laughs> Let me do a thumb and gloves on. A little easier. And so I work on my feet. Well, I don't work today, uh -huh. but tomorrow I work. Did you recommend me going into work or? Um, I think you'd be fine tomorrow. Okay. okay. Just uh, you know, when you get home, take it you know as much time as you can just to relax and kick your foot in there. Especially today. Today's the most important day. You want to go home, just get up in the air, and take it easy. Yeah. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for watching so much. If you have any comments, questions, please don't hesitate to drop them below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of good stuff coming up soon. All right. See you next time.